Today we're going to be tying a, a fish skull intruder style steelhead fly. Um, I've got a Gamagatsu T10 6H hook in the vise, um, 6 aught black uni thread. I'm just going to start behind the eye here, make some wraps back, cover up my hook shank. And these fish skulls, Barrett, tell us a little bit about those. Fish skull is a new product um, that is a uh, aluminum head that slides on at kind of the end of the process of the tying um, and they come with little eyes that mount with super glue on the sides. Um, it adds a nice amount of weight and being a really easy way to kind of finish the fly. So I've uh, got my thread wrap clear on back. Um, we're going to tie this kind of for with a trailing uh, uh, hook in mind, uh, one that can be kind of swapped out. So I'll give myself probably about an inch and a quarter or so of uh, this is 25 pound mono here. I'm just going to run that down the shank. You could set it up, you know, any any type of way that you normally rig intruder style flies. Um, so you know you could you could put a small loop back there, and then run a loop off of your leader. Um, just kind of an easy easy way to do it this way. So I've got my loop trail in, in the back. I'm going to use a uh, holographic silver ice stub. So I've got my dubbing in place. Wind that butt up. Got a nice fluffy ball. If it doesn't come out super fluffy, you can always hit it with your dubbing brush just to get a little bit more bush to it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in a tail of uh, blue ostrich. So I'll make a small gather here. Not looking for huge volumes, but just enough for some wiggle in the back. So I'll kind of get that about the same length, maybe a little bit longer than the hook shank. Next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of the uh, Lagerton Mini Flat Braid in the holographic silver. I'm going to need probably about three inches of that. I'm going to use this for a little wound body. Make another loop. Now we're going to take a little bit of Kingfisher Blue Arctic Fox. We're going to make a little hack lot of this. You don't need to have a real huge amount. Um, you don't want so much that just going to prevent your fly from sinking down. Just kind of get that stuff off to the side so that when we wrap the hack we'll we get it to flare out just a bit. I mean, you're using that pedaging bobbin, but you could use a dubbing loop tool. Absolutely, any dubbing loop tool will work just fine on that. You're creating a, a hackle with Arctic Fox, basically. Correct. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to use a spay plume in black. Just kind of cut the tip off, stroke those feathers back to kind of get at the stem. This is an entire plume. Yeah, just okay. to, I mean, you're basically using it as, as an accent hackle. Okay. Grab my hackle clips here.
Um, at this point, basically, uh, we're done with the thread. So I'll take the, the uh, whip finisher. Now we'll take the fish skull. They come in a, several different sizes. I think they come in small, medium, and large. Colors too, I think there's the right. Multiple colors. This In this instance, I'm using a blue one just to kind of help match uh, everything else that's going on. So you slide, you slide the fish skull on and it's basically in place. Um, two different options. You can take your thread and wind it at the front to help push it into place a little bit more. That works. And what I've been doing just to kind of make it final is I'll take a, a UV glue of some variety, slick the feathers back just a bit, put a drop inside each end. Make sure you don't have too much on there. Whack it with the light. UV curing light. UV curing light, yeah. The, and epoxy, you've done epoxy over some of these, have you not? Absolutely, and that works out really, it has a cool effect as well. So the last step here, uh, the fish skulls come with their own little sets of eyes that fit into the recesses. So we'll yank two off. And there you have it, complete fish skull intruder style fly.